Hey guys, it's me. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to talk to y'all about purses. You see this purse here? I have had this purse since sometime when I was in high school. And as you can see, it's starting to wear thin. Uh, there are some holes in the bottom. Uh, the zippers like to jam. And yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So uh, my mother and her infinite wisdom, uh, she went out shopping the other day at the mall and she got me this bag. Um, it's from Brighton, which they sell purses, wallets, uh, jewelry, accessories, luggage. I They're a lot like Coach, except I actually like them better because unlike Coach, they don't like to plaster their name or letters all over their shit. It's pretty basic. Um, I think what their signature is is they could put these little fabric details and these little kind of blingy bits on their stuff. Um, and I bring this up because I have a weird history with purses, which my friends and my fiance can tell you about. Um, this is a purse I've been using for a while. I've alternated it with a similar purse that I've had since I was in middle school that I think I got from Hot Topic or something. And there's still shit in that purse, and sometimes I swap out between these things. <laughs> it, much to the chagrin of my family, because they think these are junky purses. They are. I didn't get them from very good places. I just kind of thought they were cool and got them. And so, like, in high school and college and stuff, my mom, who is a big coach fanatic, would go to the coach outlet, or she would get, like, a gift card or something. And when she would buy a purse for herself, because she likes skinny purses, she would get me one. And she would get, like, the bigger tote size bags or the hobo bags. And I did use them. Um, I used them quite a bit my freshman year of college. I uh, to carry stuff. I found doing that and carrying my uh, uh, bag with my laptop and my uh, college swag. I just, it wasn't very feasible. And it was never comfortable for me. Like those big straps just were never comfortable. I could never quite tuck under my shoulder. It felt weird. It felt bulky. Like, as you can see, I'm not a very big person. I don't have very big shoulders. So what looks cool and fashionable on one person just doesn't fit right on me. And so she found this, and at first I was like, okay, I don't see any pockets. Here's where I'm going to fit all my shit. And then I open it up, and it's like pocket inception. Like, look at this shit. All right. So, like, not only is there a thing for my ID, which I like, which means I will no longer be forced to carry my wallet, which is a whole another can of worms. That thing's been falling apart since I got it. I can just slide my ID in here, all of my credit cards and debit cards and store cards in here. I can, like, put my cash and shit back here, whatever, and my receipts and stuff. I can organize. And it has a spot where I can keep my, my checkbook because I am an adult now who has to write checks to pay bills and pay for our space of living and pay stuff. And um, I would show you what my checkbook looks like because it's really cool. It has dolphins on it, but I don't remember where I put it. And I actually just went to look for it. And with my luck and my history of existing, when I look for something, I don't find it. It'll probably turn up in like an hour or two on top of my night table just magically appearing because that's how my life works. So yeah, checkbook's going to go there. And my other concern was um, I, I, I'm i sick. <laughs> I'm always sick. Uh, it's just a fact of life I have to deal with. And so I always need to have pockets to keep my medicines in. And I was concerned until I opened up this back part. And it's like a huge, deep-ass pocket where I could fit a whole miniature pharmacy in there. <laughs> And not only that, I have this little pocket if I want to keep, like, a lipstick or something because 
part of why having a larger purse didn't work for me ever is I'm kind of a goo hoarder and I would just keep like a million little lipsticks and a million little lip glosses and little things of perfume until I had just too much shit in my purse. And so now I'm going to do something fun and I'm going to move uh, some stuff over to uh, my other bag. Uh, I'm going to start with the easy shit, which is cash, which is kept in this ripped up pocket because it is almost 2015. I don't really use cash anymore. Uh, I keep it in a little pocket in case of an emergency, otherwise it's all crumpled up because I have no place to actually keep property full of bills. So I'm going to actually straighten my bills out and you're not going to see what denomination they are. I can tell you though that they're very small. Like I said, I have no need for cash, so I'm just going to make my tiny bills all nice and flat here, my <laughs> so they don't quite look like a hot mess like they normally look like, and I'm going to put them in my in my, my my new bag, all nice and flat. So if I ever do need to access my tiny bills, I can just be like, oh yeah, what's up, home dog? Here are my tiny bills. All nice and flat in my purse. That was easy. And now, uh, oh, oh boy, what's this? There's a receipt back there. Peel off this portion only. Clearly, that was important for keeping. Uh, okay. And a uh, credit card. I don't people to steal my identity. I think gift card I just got. That's very important. Uh, health insurance card. Health insurance card. Credit card. My ID card that I'm going to tuck into my little ID card pocket. Like, so look at that, look at that. Now when I go to like the bar or something, I can just be like, yeah, look at me. Uh, or Health insurance for my daughter. <laughs> Credit card. Debit card. Uh, a receipt. Totally need that. Absolutely. Or health insurance stuff because, like I said, shit ton of medical problems going on in this family. And a credit card and another debit card because, you know, life. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put all of my credit cards in an organized, somewhat organized fashion, mostly credit cards, just in a pocket, a piece of receipt, and credit card. Oops, these were not meant to fit credit cards, I think they lied to me, they lying liar faces. Credit card. Credit card. Credit card. That looks so much better than shoving shit in random pockets. Oh, and yeah, one of my credit cards has my face on it because. I am totally conceited. <laughs> it's it. Well, mo actually, the excuse was I wanted a PowerGlow credit card, and they have copyright restrictions against using other people's art, so I could not use comic book art, so I just used my cosplay photos. And now I have a PowerGlow credit card. And I'm just gonna pop this iTunes card somewhere. I'll use it at some point. I haven't found a reason to use iTunes lately. I don't really like any music yet. I'm going to put my health insurance shit in another pocket, and there we go. That looks infinitely better than how I had it in my previous purse, so thank you, mother. And I'm not going to go through this bullshit with you, or else this video would be a million years, but um, I talk about being a goo hoarder. I have, like, a shit fuck ton of... Just lipsticks, 
and lip glosses. Like, I, I I can't I can't even like look. This is just a handful of what's in my pocket of what's in my pocketbook. But this this is neat. Look at that, Rocky Horror, Frankenfurter, Frankenfurter lip lipstick. That's pretty cool. Keep that on me. So that'll have to be moved over, along with the other ones. And then my uh, walking pharmacy. So that'll get moved over at some point. And uh, also, I got a new phone case, and I want to show people because it's really cute. Look at it. It's got orca whales on it. It's super cute. And that that's that. That's going to go in my purse, too. I'll find a spot for it. And also, I'm going to hear... Bleh. I'm here to announce that the uh, calendar for the first season of Hale Moonlight Theater is out. And um, lots of lovely people are in it. My friend, here's, here's Mego. Looking, looking awesome. Look at Mego looking awesome. Hi, Mego. Say hi, Mego, everybody. Hi, Mego. And she's January. And... Uh, you're Scarlet, looking hot as ever. Damn, girl. Got some abs. I like her abs. And uh, here's Cynthia, or as she goes by in the show, the original Sin, which is pretty awesome. She's looking mighty fine. Hi, Sin. Ah, hi, Sin. Yeah. And she's April. Let's see if there's anyone else in here I have actually hung out with at some point. Maybe, maybe not. There's a lot of people who's just been on the show. Uh, I haven't met her, but I think her hair and her bra are pretty cool. So yeah, you should probably get this calendar to this picture. That's pretty neat. And here's the picture you guys care about. Here's me! Um, this is a 16-month uh, calendar, so I am February 2016. Um, this is an older picture, probably from like June or something, but still really popular. I get a lot of hits on Model Mayhem and stuff for it, so yeah, um, that's in here. And if you get the calendar for, uh, not for me, through me, um, I will uh, sign the front, of course, and I will sign this bit. And if you go on my uh, Facebook, uh, let me know if you would like a print. I can give you a print of any of the Black Cat pictures from 2013 that were shot at Dragon Con. I have uh, the original Zygmunt prints of for that. And if you like um, either my Hooters Girl shoot or my Cowboys Cheerleader shoot, I have the okay to also include a print of that. So. If you get this calendar through me, you also get a free print. And if you want to know how much it costs, just send me a message or comment on here. And I will find out the exact price from Joel and how you can pay for it. And I can get it to you. I have several in stock. So get them while they're hot because it's full of hot ladies. You know you want this on your wall. And I'm going to go get ready to go hang out with uh, my friend Rusty. Uh, I was going to go out tonight, but... I decided not to. <laughs> I didn't feel like it, so I'm just going to stay in with my buddy, and we're going to be awesome. So, yeah, see you guys later. Bye!